Hello adventures! Today we are going to go over um, 30 most common verbs in English. Make sure you tune in uh, to the very end and make sure you know all of these verbs to make sure that this video has something for both um, elementary English learners um, and those more advanced English learners. I'm going to give you the verb, but then also give you an expression or a phrasal verb with it so that you can all learn something from this video. Let's get started. Number one, to be. We use the verb to be to talk about um, someone being an adjective or someone being a type of person, a type of job, for example. For instance, I am a teacher or I am um, anxious. <laughs> no, I'm not anxious. I am happy. So um, the expression that I would like you to learn from to be is be up to. For example, if I ask you, what are you up to? It means, what are you doing? Be up to. And then one thing you can tell me is, I'm up to no good. I'm up to no good. It means I am causing trouble. Are you a little troublemaker? I'm not. I've always been a great person. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, number two, have. Have talks about possession. For example, for example, I have a microphone. I have this beautiful lamp. I have this amazing plant. Um, you can also, the expression that I would like you to learn with have is have on. For example, I have the, I have a black turtleneck on, or this is a mock neck actually. Number three, do. Do is when you engage in an activity. For example, right now, what am I doing? I am talking to you. This is what I'm doing. The expression that I would like you to learn is do without. For example, I cannot do without my phone because, you know, I record all my YouTube videos with my phone. I talk to my family on my phone. Uh, so I cannot do without my phone, but I can do without coffee. It's, I'm not gonna love it, but I can do without it. It means I can survive without it. Number four, say, say. Say is when you, when you open your mouth and say something, talk about something, tell something. Say, it means some other synonyms for it would be declare, utter the words, utter, utter the words, tell. Remember that we say something or we tell someone something or we say something to someone. The structure is a bit different. Number five, get, get. For example, I, for example, I got this shirt from a nice store in my city, get. The expression that I would like you, the expression that I would like you to learn with get is get by. Get by means survive. For example, during winter, I just get by. I don't enjoy my life that much. I just get by means survive. Number six. Number six is make. Make is when you create something. For example, you can make coffee, you can make lunch, you can make dinner, you can make a sandwich. Um, and the expression I would like you to learn is make do. Make do. That sounds a bit odd, right? Make do is when you uh, really tr make an effort, you try to make something work. For example, I think for now I can make do with my phone, but soon I might have to invest in a nice camera. Number seven, go, go. Go is when you move from one place to the other go. The uh, phrasal verb that I would like you to learn is go on, which means continue. And the synonym I would like you to learn is commute. Commute is when you go to work or go to school and then come back. That's commute. Number eight, no, no. You know something when you have it in your head. For example, I know English. I know these verbs. 
And a, a synonym I would like you to learn is be aware of. I am aware of uh, the fact that it's, English is not easy for everyone and I'm here to help you. Number nine, take. Take. Take and get are kind of similar. You can also say grab is a synonym for take and the phrasal verb that I would like you to learn is take after. For example, I take after my mother. It means I look like my mother. Number 10, see. See, see, see. Yeah, number 10 is C. C is when you just see something you don't really want to look, but you are just seeing it. And then uh, the expression, the phrasal verb that I would like you to learn is see through. See, see through is when uh, you persist. For example, I am going to see this YouTube channel through. I'm going to persist until we all make a very big community. Come, come, come is opposite of go and it's um, another synonym would be visit if you want to talk about come and see someone, uh, if you want to talk about coming and seeing someone and then uh, the um, phrasal verb that I would like you to learn is come through. You really came through means um, you really succeeded in a time of difficulty. For example, uh, over the past couple of months since I started my YouTube channel, you guys have really come through for me. You have supported me and you have um, done everything you're in your power for me to succeed for which I am eternally grateful number 12 think 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 a synonym for it is reflect for example I have been reflecting about English a lot while I've been building this uh, platform so I've been thinking a lot um, number 13 is look look for example right now I am seeing out the window I'm not really trying to look but I'm seeing it but now I'm looking out the window mm -hmm. and then uh, the phrasal verb I would like you to learn is look after look after look after means take care of and next is want 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 is when you desire something when you need something so um, one expression that I would like you to learn with want is Give. Give is opposite of take. Um, the expression that I would like you to learn with give is give up. For example, smoking is really bad, so you should give it up. You should give up smoking. Mm -hmm. It means quit. Quit. Use. You can use so many things. For example, now I'm using my phone. I am using this to record my voice. I'm using my laptop on the ground uh, so that I can have my ring light on. For example, I am using a ring light. Um, so I'm using some music in the background uh, for you during this video. So the synonym for use is utilize and the phrasal verb I would like you to learn is use up. Use up means use and finish. And next is find. Find. Find is when you look for something and then you find it. For example, when you want to learn grammar, you might search on YouTube and find one of my grammar videos. Find. The um, Expression, the phrasal verb that I would like you to learn with find is find out, which means understand. For example, I found out yesterday that my favorite TV show uh, has released a third season and I'm so excited about it. I haven't had time to watch it yet, but I'm very excited. Tune in the day after tomorrow for a new video. I hope you found this helpful and let me know if this is the type of video that you like. I'll see you later. Bye.